when learning occurs, obviously, there's a biological basis for it. I mean, there's a, a biological basis for everything we do. The brain is, is the proximate cause of everything that we do. Um, uh, when, when learning occurs, whether it's Pavlovian or operant learning, there are obviously changes in the brain. Um, now, as I mentioned, there, neuroscientists study uh, the brain and how it affects behavior, and behavior analysts study how the environment affects behavior. Um, some people criticize behavior analysts for not considering the neurological underpinnings of behavior, but it's not that we don't consider them, we just don't study them. We fully acknowledge that they provide the, the, the neurological basis for, for all of our behavior. There has been research over the past 40 or 50 years which has documented various changes in the central nervous system when learning occurs. So for example, we know that dopamine is, a, is one of the primary neurotransmitters involved in reward centers and reinforcement. We know that certain parts of the brain are more involved than others when reinforcement occurs. But I would add that, that um, and B.F. Skinner has talked about this as well, um, you can study learning, that is you can study the effects of behavior, uh, the effects of environment on behavior without understanding how the nervous system works. Um, you can have a theory of behavior or a science of behavior without any knowledge or understanding of how the nervous system works. But I don't think you can have a science or theory of how the nervous system works without having a science or theory of behavior. Because the, the theory of behavior, the science of behavior, provides neuroscientists with a roadmap for how to study the brain and how to look for the effects that, that um, occur in the brain when learning occurs. So um, it's important to, to acknowledge the, the physiological underpinnings of learning and behavior, but it's not necessary to know them or to understand them in order to understand um, how learning affects behavior.